Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about canvas and different options. A lot of people experience problems with this. I'm going to start by telling you that there is two ways to start a new project in GIMP. One of the ways is to click on the file, new option, and here enter your different options, then click OK, and you just started a new project with this size, 800 by 600 pixels, and this is the size of the canvas also. Now every time you click on the new layer option, you see that GIMP automatically fills in here the width and the height of the canvas for the layer. We can change that if you want to. For example, let's say 300 by 300 pixels. Click OK. I just created this layer. And every time I click on the new layer, I will still see the original size of the canvas here at the default options. I'm going to undo this. Now, another way to start a new project, I'm going to close this, is to, but before that, let's create again this new project. Now, this is something that a lot of people get confused about and uh, experience problems with. If you start a new project with this size, and let's say open an image as a layer, or drop an image in GIMP, I'm opening an image now and you see I'm not seeing the entire image. I can move it around. This is because this image is a lot bigger than the original project size, the size of the canvas. So we can't see the entire image. We can see the layer boundary here, how big is actually the image. We can fit it by scaling it down using the scale tool or we can go to image, fit canvas to layers and you see that this fitted our canvas to the layers here. Now, let's undo this. Actually, let's close this. The other way to start a new project is to open an image. And when you open an image, let me just resize GIMP here, this the size of the image becomes the size of the project, the size of the canvas. But have in mind that even this image now is big, if I open a bigger image, this image will also go outside of the canvas. Now, something else I want to show you, if let's say I create a new layer here, a small layer, 500 by 500 pixels, click OK. I'm going to fill it with black color and uh, if you position this layer somewhere around here you see you're not seeing part of this layer and now export this as a JPEG this will be the area that is going to be exported only the canvas even if this is still here we can't see it this means that we will not be exported this will be the image that is going to get exported. I'm going to undo this. Let's go to the options here. Now we saw the fit canvas to layers option. Now this fit canvas to selection. If I make a selection, let's say like this, then this option becomes active and I can fit the canvas to a selection here. And this is a way maybe that you can resize the imaging area, the canvas, and then just position the image anywhere you want. If you don't want to export all the image. So right now, if I click the export as JPEG option, I can export only this part of the image. Now let's undo this. Okay, the next option is canvas size. Now, first here, you can control the width and the height of the canvas. You can click here on this chain and this will keep the aspect ratio. If I click here to make the canvas bigger, you see we have a preview here. We can also position it with this offset on the X Y axis. Or we can use this center option, which will center the image 
Now these resize layers. Now we have only one layer here, but if it's none, it's not going to resize the layers. If I click on all layers, this will resize all the layers. Image size layers, this means the size of our project. So if I now create another layer here with transparency, this layer is the size of the image. But if I create another layer with let's say a smaller size, So this layer now it's not with the image size. So if I go to canvas size here and select this image size option, this will only affect these two layers. Visible layers are the layers that this eye here is active. So these two are invisible now. This one is visible. And this link layers, if you click here, you can link layers Right now all three layers are linked, so this will resize all three layers. Let's choose this none option for now and click resize. Actually, let's first make the canvas bigger and center it. And you see this none, all layers remain the same size as you can see here from their layer boundary. Now let's undo this, go to image, canvas size, and select this image size there's, click resize, and you see this resized this and this layer. And now because this layer here doesn't have an alpha channel, this area is automatically filled with white. So if I undo this and add an alpha channel to this image, go again to canvas size, make the canvas bigger, select image size layers again, resize, and you see now this is filled with transparency and you can add something else here if you want to. Let's say a black background and now when I click here, notice that when I'm creating a new layer, this will be the size of the canvas. So I'm going to fill this with the foreground color, which is black. Click OK. And then I'm going to send this one step down and you see how we have this black color around the image. So that's basically all the options for this canvas size. I hope this made clear some of the problems that a lot of users, beginners are experiencing with this canvas. So that's it for this tutorial, this episode of the Beginner's Guide. If you like the video, subscribe. Bye for now.